We're going to do a line variation demo here at about four times the normal speed with our racer drawing. Uh, here I'm taking the drawing and just adding uh, strokes, basic uh, thicknesses to the areas around the figure, just giving us something to work with uh, to add variation to later. As I'm doing this, I'm editing the drawing, um, making creative changes. Right here I've deleted those ventilation bits. I don't really want them anymore. Maybe I'll put them back in with color. Um, again, just adding stroke with uh, weights. I'm going to slow it down here in a second and show you how I add a profile to the stroke to give it uh, variation. Here we are, this is normal speed, and I'm choosing a variable line width. Um, this gives me something to work with that automatically sort of makes it look like um, ink. Um, there, and what I'm doing is cutting along the paths so that you can see these line breaks and it helps with the variation to make it feel more active and more like an organic line or no, like an ink brush stroke. We're back up to fast speed here and then you'll see I'm making more adjust adjustments. Strokes that have profiles set to them are still editable just like normal strokes so I can move them around and they still retain the width changes. I can cut them and duplicate them and they they still act like regular strokes they just have a bit of a, a style to them. And here I'm going through and choosing different profiles to fit the, the, the lines. Some work better than others. Sometimes I want a very tapered profile and sometimes I want ones that are less um, tapered or have less variation in them. Let's see, now I'm going in with the width tool and adjusting some of these um, profiled lines to kind of match up with the endpoints. It's a little hard to grab those points on the very end. We're going to slow it down again in a second, and I'm going to show you um, what I like to do once I have everything, how I, how I like it with the strokes. I turn the strokes into fills. And here I'm going to select everything, and I'm going to duplicate my line layer and outline stroke. Now I have a, a separate layer, and now all my strokes are shapes. But what I'm going to need to do is simplify these lines because there's too many points. And here I'm adjusting these uh, these shapes with the simplify tool, trying to get it dialed in so it's more manipulatable. As long as that's previewed, you can see the changes. And I kind of fine tune it. And if I commit these changes, uh, I'll now be able to select these points more easily and now all of my lines are shapes and I can go through and adjust these paths uh, fine-tuning them to make them feel even more like ink um, and this gives the drawing more depth and more um, motion more action To take it further, I would add in some more dark shapes and fill it in, but this is pretty good for now.